We're on the outskirts of Edinburgh at Liberton Greyhound Kennels, an important base for the RGT, including Dougal, but also a thriving Greyhound Kennels, the base of Gary Carmichael. My mother held a licence back then and um, this went on for a few years and then I decided to take over. I can't recall the actual date, um, but I decided to take over and um, really nothing changed. It was the same staff. Your father's very much involved at Ian, we've seen him. Massively, massively involved. In fact, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do it, to be honest. You know, he's, uh, he's always in the background and I think he likes it that way. So, But he's, he's a massive input in the the training side and everything that goes on, you know, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do it. Well, we're just um, on the outskirts of Edinburgh, you're attached to Newcastle, you, you, you've moved there, that's quite a journey for you. Two and a half hours it takes me, you know, but like I said, I mean, I was a taxi driver for a long time, I drove black cabs in Edinburgh, uh, I've done that for six years, so driving doesn't bother me, driving long distances or for a long, a long time doesn't bother me, so two and a half hours down to Newcastle, it's no problem. You've had some great success at Newcastle, and particularly over the last couple of years in the Bags Track Championship, winning it uh, in 2012 and runner-up in 2013, and you've been a big part of the team. Yeah, for me that was a highlight so far at Perry Bar. That was a great day. Um, I had two dogs running that day, and they both won, Leash Guard Champ and Bullfield Bell. Uh, so that, that was, a, that was a, a highlight that I'll remember. And th there was a great team spirit, I remember. I was there on the day. And I think uh, that was a secret. That was a secret. You know, everybody was gene each other on, you know. And uh, again, there was a lot of pressure because probably more so than you would be on your own because you're part of a team, you know, you want to do well for your team. And that uh, no, was a great day. Gary, the Newcastle graded strength, renowned as one of the hottest in the country, particularly the A1s on a Saturday night. But you often feature in them and... Uh, You've got one of the stars of RPG TV from a few months back, back in the kennel, Bowfield Bell. Yeah, she went down to Charles Lister's for a few months, you know, and uh, she's back in now. And fantastic bitch when she was here. She was sort of mid 28, 28, 45, 28, 50 bitch, you know, and she's won opens and fantastic animal, so glad to have her back. And uh, she had been very, very lightly raced of late, but uh, mm -hmm. just on the comeback and uh, some. A good trial recently. Yeah, we galloped her, galloped her last week and um, she trialled on a sprint 17.26, which is pleasing. That's the sort of time she was doing before she left. So I think we'll give her a 480 next week and see how she goes. But hopefully get her back on the strength ASAP. And she's just one, of course, of a, of a fantastic litter. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the, her comrades, all of whom are well known to viewers. Well, again, I mean, they've, they've, they've all either won Opens or, or won A1s. I mean, you've got Braveheart Boy who reached the Produce Stakes final at Nottingham. You've got Corporal Kev, who's won several Opens, and, and Rintan Tin, who's very fast away, but he's, he's sort of A2, A1, you know, and he's, he, of course, he's won an Open at Sunderland. And then you've got Heavy Rumble, who's not won an Open, but in my opinion, he's the, he's the quickest in the, in the litter, but unfortunately, he's had, uh, he's had wee niggling injuries here and there. And Newcastle have introduced puppy races, and uh, Banford Isle, very impressive on debut. Yeah. Uh, one eight length. Uh, it's Joe's inquiry, um, which is it's what pups do. You know they can, they're a bit erratic in times, and there's no consistency. But hopefully the racing manager will be okay with that. You know, but um, it was quite embarrassing eight length. But obviously a very very pacey greyhound. Yeah, yeah, she's um, she's certainly going places along with other pups that we've got in the kennel. You know, lovely Heather, four fifty split, um, Banford Rizzoli. She's done some fancy trial times, 28.69 for the 4.80, which would put you in top A1. Uh, 39.16 for the 6.40, which would put you in an open class sort of standard. Uh, and that's where her future lies, you know, so it'll be exciting to see her in a six-bend race. Are you still happy to do a bit of travelling, open racing, if you've got the, the right greyhound? Yes, but I mean, it's, it can be tiring, you know, when you're doing Newcastle twice a week. So you've got to try and fit it in around that. I mean, my main priority is, is Newcastle and, and the grade strength there. But if I get an open class dog, a real good one, I would, I would travel. We saw uh, Bandicoot Teddy having a gallop in the fields. Tell of us course, about, of tell course. Us about him. Well, he was bought from the sales in Ireland, Thorough Sales. Um, I mean, we've had a few Bandicoots in the past few months, you know, and they've done really well for us. So our owner, Colin Bell, decided to go for um, Bandicoot Teddy. And... Uh, 
he's been okay. He's, he's, he's won a couple of races, you know, and he's, he's going in the right direction. Um, he's, he's got a bit of early pace. Doesn't quite get the trip, but I'm sure he'll get stronger as time goes on. And uh, obviously, Newcastle features on RPG TV on a, a Saturday evening. And I noticed that you've uh, you've picked up a greyhound for the, the armchair syndicate. Yes, uh, Matt Whitaker, head of the armchair guys. Uh, he gave me a call, uh, asked me to take the, the wee bitch armchair widow. And uh, she's been a revelation, to be honest. She's um, Stu's inquiry for her first race, which wasn't too good, but that's what puppies do to you. But um, she's been brilliant, and it's uh, it's really exciting. Uh, Matt Whitaker's really enthusiastic and loves the game, and uh, that's good. And the fact that people can watch the Greyhounds on the television uh, must be a, a bonus, because obviously you're quite a long way out of the way. You're not going to get owners from all over the country coming here every Sunday, are you? Yeah, I mean, I believe he's got about an excess of 50 winners, you know, and I've not met. I met one, I think, you know, so, but because it's on Racing Post, Racing Post TV, they get to watch the dog. So an awful lot to look forward to this year, Gary. Yeah, exciting times, and like I say, if, if they all stay injury-free, you know, um, I'll be happy.